Hey guys, Figurecraft here. I figured I'd go ahead and I'll show y'all what I've been up to uh, lately, which is taking up my schedule. <laughs> but, um, I don't know if I ever told you it or not, but, uh, I'm a cosplayer. That right there is me. As Kirito. I'm not a, a pro cosplayer, but I'm slowly getting there. I've been to a few conventions here and there. There's me when I cosplayed Naraku, the main villain from Inuyasha. I met a cosplayer that was cosplaying Yura of the Hair. Here's a, another picture of me. Here's a picture of me cosplaying the uh, Breath of the Wild 2 Link when we first knew that it was Breath of the Wild 2 when we were calling it before we got the name. Zoom in here, get you some better detail of my outfit. I'm still working on this uh, cosplay. That's what's been taking up my time. Let me go ahead and close out some of these, make it easier. Here's me when I cosplayed Breath of the Wild 1 Link. I'll be working on putting up a cosplay video uh, either before Halloween or after Halloween. I'm working on that. And here's another picture. I just uh, edited the stuff in the background, drew it in myself with uh, paint. Trying to make it look like the game art. Yeah, it's just some new stuff for me to uh, experiment around with. Like I said, I'm not a pro cosplayer like some of these other people that I'm seeing, but I'm getting there. But yeah, you got that. Then here's another picture of me. got that one here's a picture of me with all my weapons from the back that's before I even got a hold of my wig and that's not the same quiver I'm using anymore my quiver's been updated since then so that's a really old picture here's a, another one Then we have one more right here. This is from when I went to a convention and I met a little boy. He wanted to hold my shield and sword, so I let him. That's when I was cosplaying Twilight Link. He was a fan of Zelda. Always nice to meet young fans. 
then here's the pictures that I've been going off of making my uh, next cosplay. I'm working on Tears of the Kingdom now. Now I know in my cosplay that I'm working on right now, I don't have enough time to make this new brown thing that's been added into the game. I don't have enough time for that. I'm uh, And plus on top of that, I'm out of materials and it's hard for me to find the materials now with everything going on. But the materials that I use, I use this big old foam. You can usually find it in a craft store. I get mine from Harbor Freight. But I use that to make most of my cosplay stuff. I'll show you the things that I got made here so far. Here's my uh, my arm gauntlet. Like I said, I know this is incorrect. I don't have enough time and I don't have enough uh, material to make some more of this right now. Because I'm trying to get this up and going before Halloween. I like cosplaying on Halloween. But you have this right here. And this will basically just slide up on my arm like that. But we have that that we made. Let me look here again. We have his new little uh, device. I tried making it on the, the best way that I could see what that thing may have looked like. I don't have many pictures. All I have is that to go on and ones that's online. But I tried making my best to maybe thinking about what it would look like. This is just a rough making of it probably make another one when the game comes out if this is incorrect but we got that we also have um let me get this up here <laughs> so much big stuff oh let me set this up here and i'll pick up the phone we also have the tears of the kingdom shield the new shield from the game we have it. Let me flip this around. Got my master sword right here that I've made. So we have that. Here is my old shield from my first Breath of the Wild cosplay. This is my um, Traveler's Shield. Made with that foam stuff, like I said, I use. You can see the handle. It's foam. There's the strap. The detail work. The way of attaching it to my back. I had to come up with a bunch of stuff. And on this one, too, I forgot to show it. Let me get this. Here's the strap. And right here. Let me move this out of the way. Here's the handle. Here is the um, the Ordon sword that I have. And there's the Ordon sword. Let me set this down here a minute. And I'll get it out of the sheath. That way you can see the detail of the Ordon sword. Okay. Here's the Ordon sword. I usually put dial rods in my swords to give them some stability. You can see that's just little pieces of foam put together. That's what's been piece tied where I've been to a convention. But we have that. Let me set you there. Let me get this back in its sheath. Oh yeah, um, the sheath is cardboard, you can see. Cardboard inside the sheath. And then we have this one. Let me go ahead and pull this one out of the sheath. I'll show you this one. This is the Traveler's Broadsword for the Breath of the Wild cosplay. You can see there. It's the Traveler's Broadsword. Mm, so it's been piece tied. <laughs> but I'll get it back in its sheath and then I'll show you its sheath. Its sheath is the same way too. Cardboard. I basically use this material to wrap around my sheaths to give it more real look. This is like a material you can buy from a store. I just got it hot glued on around there. I got to do some repaint work right there. 
that's the way that the bow would attach to my back. But you can see this is all my cosplay stuff. <laughs> I got a bunch of stuff. And this one's, uh, this is made out of that foam stuff that I showed you. This is the new breastplate for the Tears of the Kingdom. I tried making out what it looks like there, but there just ain't many pictures to go on right now. But the statue that uh, Nintendo provided at the uh, event going on in Japan, the life-size statue, that provided some real good look at it. So I think partially I got this right. I know this arm plate is wrong. It's got to have the bird symbol. Like I said, I ain't got enough time to fix that right now. We'll fix that after Halloween or something. Once I get more material. There's the way that it would attach to me. A little belt. I use this barge cement stuff to put my foam stuff together. But you got that. And then you can see right here on the inside. That's how the shoulder pad's holding on. It's been barged. And then we have my newest addition. This is my new quiver that I made. I hadn't had a chance to take this to a convention since it's been made because the pandemic hit and I haven't been back since. I miss it so bad. But there's my quiver. Here is my new uh, arm plate thing, which like I said, it still has to be corrected. There's our arm plate. And then right here is a very interesting one. I just got this done. Here is my new Tears of the Kingdom hand. It has some uh, little foam barged on to it, painted the color. That's a big piece of uh, foam barged onto the glove. Just uh, building up my hand. I'm not going for the whole arm look because you can see it in the game. When he's wearing his clothes, he's got the whole arm covered up with his clothing material. I'll also try to dig out another thing. Over here you can see here's my costume and stuff that I got sitting here. From my old uh, Breath of the Wild cosplay. I'm trying to dig out an arrow. Here we go. Here's one of my arrows. Foam. Dial rod. Got to do some repair work because uh, some rats got a hold of it and went to town on it. Little boogers. I thought about, you know, like maybe saying that they're battle damaged arrows. <laughs> Something like that. But uh, let me uh, sit you down here. I'll show you another thing too. I ordered this off of Etsy. Uh, the, the person that made this. Their logo's right here. LTW. When it came in, it was like a red-brown color, but on the game Breath of the Wild, Link's Sheikah Slate is like a stone gray color. So, I uh, repaired that, but there's my Sheikah Slate. And I added uh, this little screen. Clear piece of plastic. Stapled it together. Printed off the uh, symbol to put in there. Painted that whole section right there black. Made it like a screen. Gave it like a screen look. This is how it attaches to my side. It's got like one of them uh, little hooks that would just hook onto that. But we got that. I'm planning on doing the same thing for uh, this right here. Getting one of them little hooks and attaching that to my side. Where I can just swap them in and out. If I want to cosplay Tears of the Kingdom Link. Or if I want to cosplay Breath of the Wild Link. Now I'll show you this right here. Let me just get this on. Slide my arm through this. This thing came out really good. It gives it a really cool effect. Let me just slide on the new glove. And then I'll show you what this hand looks like. Okay. Here's the new Tears of the Kingdom hand. You can see there my hand's in it. My hand's in that. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't about to give up my arm for a cosplay. <laughs> but you can see there. This is my Tears of the Kingdom cosplay I'm working on right now. So, once I get this fully made and stuff like that, I'll upload some pictures to my YouTube and show you my cosplays. I really want to get a YouTube video up of showing off my cosplays. I've just been so busy with my schedules. Here's a thing that I cut off the other one. I had to cut it off this one. It was on here before, but I had to cut it off that to make room for that. So, that's something that got changed.
week. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope y'all enjoy this and you all have a blessed one. And when I come back, which will be hopefully Friday if I get some time, we'll be going over uh, the box four review of the Titanic. But until then, you all have a blessed one. And goodbye.